Hello Aries and welcome back to my channel Intuitive Envisions 1111. Thank you guys so much for liking, commenting, sharing and subscribing to the channel. I really do appreciate it. Welcome to those of you new tuning in. There will be an extended uh, version to this uh, love and romance horoscope for all of you under the sign of Aries. This will be for the remainder of July 2020 into mid-August 2020. However, all my readings are meant to be timeless. So if you happen to catch that outside of that timeline and it resonates with your situation, that means it was meant for you to hear at that time. Also, what I'm doing, like I did before I uh, started to do last month, um, using my intention candles. I'm using the, the one. The one is the one to manifest uh, what you want when it comes to love and romance, whether that is a past love, um, a new love, or if you're just wanting to heal from a current situation. Um, I've set intentions out uh, for all of the horoscopes to um, hopefully get what you are looking for, okay? All right, so since it's a general, again, it's not going to resonate with every Aries out there. I do offer personal readings, so if you're interested in booking one of those with me or um, any of the decks I'll be using here today, uh, most of the items you see, that's going to be below in the description with the link. The jellyfish are not real. Also below is my Instagram information if you want to support the channel. Uh, everything you pretty much need to know is going to be below in the description with the link. So first I'm going to go ahead and get the um, energy surrounding you Aries for the remainder of July 2020 into mid-August 2020 when it comes to love and romance. Uh, you and the person you're thinking about or again it could be someone completely new. I do shuffle all these cards prior to coming on but I like to let you guys see how spirit works their magic. I'll re we'll shuffle the remainder too as I go along. This is the Romance Angels. We have engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Okay. So this is the energy that, you know, maybe you're wanting to take things. Maybe it was at a, a friendship level or not an official girlfriend, boyfriend level. You know, for some of you it could actually be an engagement, but it's letting you know that your love life is ascending. Okay. To the next step, basically. And then we have religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. So this is most likely um, also a spiritual connection um, is what I'm getting. This comes up for me in two situations. This could be, you know, those that are tied already in a marriage, in a commitment. Um, so this could be somebody you're already in a commitment with and it's about to go to the next level. You might be about to get, you know, engaged for some of you I'm getting. Um, and I don't get that uh, very often. Um, but as also with the religious factors, this could be, you know, someone's beliefs and systems, you know, cultural beliefs, the way they were, you know, brought up, that could be changing, okay? Changing for the better, I should say. All right, this is the um, quantum oracle. This is the energy you're in, Aries. And we have number two, intention, peace. So your in, intention is to be peaceful, to be happy, to be calm, to be in a, a serene uh, environment. Maybe you weren't in that before, but that is where you're, you're wanting to be. You want to have peace. And then this is uh, the energy of your person, Aries. And again, they're an intention as well. And we have number two and we have number one. So I do see something as progression. The number together is three. Um, this, uh, for me, threes, uh, indicate like prayers answered. Um, sometimes it can indicate, uh, you know, third party interference for some of you that might've, you know, had a religious factor, you know, coming into play that could, you know, be why that's there. So we also have hidden motivations. So this is your person is in some type of conflicting energy. Okay. So it's like, uh, they're kind of like wanting this happiness, but at the same time, they're almost kind of like doing contradictory things, kind of like hiding, you know, like underneath this, this is what they're really wanting, but they're not really, it's not really um, balancing out. So your person is having conflicting uh, interests when it comes to this connection. 
They could be conflicted about their ideas of what they think happiness is, and maybe that's what they're going to address. So we have that hidden uh, motivations. Okay. All right. So let's see what took place between you and your person, Aries. This is my situations that this is, um, you guys, uh, currently uh, sold out temporarily. Um, if you live in the United States, um, though, you can pre-order from my site or my Etsy shop. It should be in in about two weeks or less. So if you want to pre-order on the shipment that's already coming in, uh, you're free to do so. If you're international and interested in any of my decks, um, that information also is below to my email. Send me an email and I'll send you a link uh, to order. Okay. So we have waves, emotions coming, going. So in the past, there was some type of emotional situation took place. Maybe somebody was like going back and forth with their emotions. Like one moment they wanted to, um, you know, be in and express love and then the next they didn't. So this could be your person with that hidden motivation, but the emotions kind of just came back and forth, which also could indicate them coming back and forth in your life, causing a lot of emotional distress as well. And then what's the current situation between you and your person, Aries? And we have interview, talk, conversation, get on the same page. So either you guys are talking or somebody is wanting to talk. They're wanting to have a conversation about something and get on the same page. And then who or what is coming towards you? I'm going to do that again because that card almost wanted to come out. Who or what is coming towards you, Aries, during the remainder of July 2020 into August, mid-August 2020? And we have receipts. Proof, show me. Okay, someone that's going to, um, either they're going to show you some kind of proof or there's going to be some type of proofs. I'm also getting something, you know, solid, something you can see or something you can touch um, with this receipt uh, energy. So let's go ahead and get some more information. This is the Light Seers Tarot about what took place in the past. Why is the waves here? Emotions coming and going. What took place? Why is the waves here? Yeah. So what I'm getting in the Knight of Cups is someone like was very emotional. The Knight of Cups is someone that is loving and emotional so what I'm getting into someone was very affectionate showing love you know maybe even traveling to see you you know maybe something happened maybe something changed but something I'm also getting for some of you somebody might have uh, confessed their love okay with this interview uh, close by okay they might have also told you they wanted to take things to the next level in the recent past and then what's the current situation between the two of you? What's this interview here for? Four of Wands. So someone want to talk, uh, want to have a conversation about union. Four of Wands is the 1111 card. So this, some of you, this could have to do with Twin Flame Connection. Or somebody could be wanting to talk about something around a home situation, a celebration, maybe planning. Maybe um, for some of you, I'm getting this engagement uh, energy, okay? They might be wanting to talk about taking things to the next level and planning um, a future uh, with you, okay? So I'm, I'm getting that really strong. Like I said, I don't really get that one that often. I can't remember actually last time. Um, so who or what is coming towards you, Aries, during the remainder of this period? Why is receipts here? Page of Cups. Okay, so some of you could be dealing with a water sign. Um, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Uh, we also have fire energy. That could be you um, wanting to take this, uh, you know, uh, conversation to the next level. Talk about it. Um, or it could be another Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries energy. So we have a Page of Cups um, energy here. This could be somebody that is an age difference or someone that's a little bit, um, you know, not as mature. This is also that a page of cups is somebody who also takes a step 
um, you know, towards an apology or, you know, expressing some type of love. Um, with the Knight of Cups here and the Page of Cups here, I do feel like someone either took a step to make an apology or that's what's going to happen. Someone is going to uh, prove that they're sorry or they're going to take a step towards some type of proof or to show you something. Okay, so let's get some more information. This is my twin flame messages. This is um, a, a, a little a little is left here of supply for, of these cards. I can't remember how many right off the top of my head, but this is available right now um, on my site or my Etsy shop. Probably temporarily too. I, I feel like this one might sell out too before I get the next uh, stock in. So let's go ahead and see some more information about what took place in the past. I drove by your house recently. Yeah, so someone like made some kind of romantic gesture or offer. They might have even came by your house. For some of you, you might not have known this, but a lot of them, um, when I get the Knight of Cups, uh, it's uh, sometimes it can be a show of love. You actually physically see this person. So your person could have, you know, came to your house recently and expressed some type of emotions uh, of what they wanted to do when it comes to this um, relationship. Or this is something that they decided recently that they wanted to uh, do. And then the current situation and the present. I'm weighing the pros and the cons. So someone is thinking about having a conversation sur uh, surrounding a union or a foundation coming together. But someone is thinking about it. Okay. They're weighing the pros and the cons of the situation. This is also the energy of the justice card. Uh, you know, possibly doing the right thing or, you know, just trying to balance out this, trying to figure out what to do. Okay. And then who or what is coming towards you. I never felt this happy with anyone the way I feel with you. So this is someone that is, um, has a lot of love for you. Um, you know, that loves you and they realize they have some type of proof or receipts now I mean, they're starting to feel it in their heart uh, so I'm sensing that they might start to awaken because they've been in some kind of conflicting energy with that hidden motivations that they're realizing that they never felt this happy with any way one the way they feel with you so they're realizing that they do love you of course these energies can be flipped so it could be you Aries that is feeling this uh, you know energy so what I'm going to do in the extended is I'm going to clarify what took place in the past um, and the current situation and who's coming in uh, towards you. Also, I'm going to find out is how they see you, Aries. Uh, what do they want from you and what action are they going to take towards you during the remainder of July 2020 into mid-August 2020. Okay, so if this resonated with you guys, please like, comment, or share. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Again, as a reminder, I do offer personal readings. And um, if you're interested in that or any of my decks, all that information is going to be below. So uh, for those of you joining me, oh, joining me over in the extended, I shall see you over there. If you're interested in the extended, that information is also below. So I want to thank each and every one of you for watching. Have a good day or night, whatever it is, wherever you are. And until next time, next video, peace, love and light.